So here is the beauty of our program. Now, if we're dealing in residential real estate, we'll be looking for distressed sales, off-market deals. Um, you have lists of uh, reasons uh, why people would sell below market, properties uh, distressed, the seller is distressed, they have sickness, they're getting the divorce, they're relocating, etc. But when it comes to single tenant buildings, Actually, believe it or not, it's better to deal with what's listed by brokers. If it's vacant, sitting with a broker, the broker want to move it. The broker wants to talk to you. The broker loves it when you call him or her and say, I'd like you to represent me. We are a fund. We're ready to move forward. You know, the whole spiel. We have the, in the training, we give the, the details of the script of what, how to talk to these people and what to show them. So, so I don't really spend a lot of time on off-market deals. However, every now and then somebody says, oh my gosh, I just saw this building has been sitting empty and I went to the county, I figured from the tax records or I did it online and I found out who the owner is, I'm going to email him or her and then they get the response. Those are pretty cool deals because we can negotiate the seller carry back. We tell them, look, you're sitting, you don't even have a sign outside, you haven't gotten a tenant, you don't know how to do it. We're interested. We're willing to give you X. So then we get longer period for the due diligence. So instead of 45 days, we end up with 60 or so. And then we're able to get seller financing. And we tell them that when we do seller financing, I always like to tell these people, we'll do seller financing for, let's say, 30 years at 6% or something. And then sometimes I tell them, I'll pay you interest only. Or sometimes I tell them, uh, anytime you want the money, uh, you can call the money with a 12 months notice because within 12 months, you already got another tenant. You already can refinance, you can cash out. You can do so much. So I don't really pursue off-market deals when there are so many on-market deals. Now, what would be interesting is if you hear that a tenant is leaving and the place is still running normal, you can then search who the owner is, call the owner and say, would you be interested in selling? This is usually their highest motivation is when they're going to lose a tenant. The lease is coming to an expiration. They think their tenant's not going to renew. You can get a good deal. I've, I've done a deal like this. It was one of the best deals I've done. A tenant was leaving. Well, he th the, the owner thought the tenant was leaving. And when I went and I called him, I said, I'm interested in the building. Do you want to sell it? Uh, when is the tenant leaving? And he said, I can't tell you any information. Uh, but if you buy it, you buy it as is and we move quickly. When I went to check the building, I walked in. And I was talking to the young lady who was the manager of the place. And she said, oh, you like the building? Yeah, we're going to spend a lot of money here. We already have the drawings and the company is going to put 200000 to change. I said, what? You're going to put 200000 So I realized the seller, the owner thinks they're leaving, but never talked to the manager of the place because they already had a commitment to improve the place. So they're going to renew the lease. So I, I made a move and I purchased right away. And that was, he was getting 8000 a month when I bought, when it came time to renew, he thought they were leaving, they were staying, and I renewed the lease to 15000 a month. Just, just, just imagine the difference in the value of the building on that. You know, having information, having real valuable information is everything in business. If you can get the right information, if you know where to invest and when to invest, because timing is so important. Next thing is what's going on in that area. What's happening here? So you can identify the right building and, and make your right moves. Okay, so I went off on a tangent. So uh, that's the answer to that. On right. mark, people need up.